Thank you so much for an awesome 2018. Thank you so much to all of my almost 25,000 subscribers. You are all absolutely wonderful and I love you so much. Um, thank you for being with me on this journey and joining me and sharing with me. You're awesome. Now I make these tutorials just for you. So let me know what you would like to see me cover in 2019. I've got some spring tutorials planned and I'm excited about it. I cannot wait for spring. I'm getting close to launching my new website, which I'm very excited about. But enough of that for right now. This is what we're going to be painting today. Let's go ahead and get started. So getting started here, this is a 12 by 12 canvas and I'm just going to paint it black and you can buy them uh, pre uh, colored black you want to but I just paint mine and I like to use a nice wide brush and I like to go um, all in one direction at the end so it dries nice and evenly. Now you want to find the center of your canvas and the best way to do that is to just grab a ruler and go on and mark from corner to corner. Um, and this is a chalk slate pencil is what it's called. I found it on Amazon. I think they are just lovely because they come so clean off of the canvas. Um, okay, now you got your center mark. These are the colors that I chose to use in this particular uh, tutorial. And I will list these down in the video's description below. Now I've already marked my center dot and um, just used my very largest tool. And I used the color yellow. And then I drew on some concentric circles pretty much uh, random um, and then I just cut this little bit out of cardboard I just wanted to show you that you just kind of fold it in half and then any design that you like this is what I went with and what I'll do is I'll put the measurements of these particular um, of the circle gaps and the uh, the size of this little cardboard thing that I cut out I'll put that in this video description below just so you can have it um, exact like mine if you choose to and now this is another cardboard thing that I cut out and I just want to show you it's just slightly it's like got a tail so it's just slightly longer than the other one um, and it kind of looks like a mermaid's tail but I was going for a bird a bird's body so I put four petals around the circle with the first cut out and I'm going to put eight of these wings around um, around the canvas here. So I'm going to do it on the crisscross and then I'm going to do it right in between each of those. So it'll be a total of eight. Alright, so I'm lining up the tips of the bird, um, the bird wings here with the very outer circle on the corners and then I line up the bird, the tip of the bird wings on the very edge of the canvas on um, the other side. So that's what it will look like. And then I'm using my pink tool. And these tools you can find in my Etsy shop. Um, they come in a total of 16. And it's got a nice range of sizes. So this is the pink tool. And I use this tool almost the whole painting. So this is the size that I went with. So I'm using the color orange. Um, for the first ring and I just put a dot on each of the lines there the crisscross lines and then I put one dot in between and then I put one dot in between each of those going with uh, slightly darkening the orange with a little tiny bit of red and I'm going to use my light purple tool and do the same thing just putting um, a dot right in between on the outer edge of each of the previous ring and the same thing again, making it a little bit darker with a little bit of red. And I'm using my green tool. And I'm going to put a dot right in between each of the previous row. And then I'm going to go with the straight red. And I'm going back with the pink tool. And I'm going to go ahead and start filling in those petals. So I think I go, what is it, like seven down, seven or eight down one side. And then you'll just not have to count the first one there and then go ahead and count down seven down the other side. 
and that's for the first row. And then go ahead and do that to each of the petals. And you can pause this throughout before you move on. I just kind of speed through it because if I didn't, it would be a two hour long tutorial. And I know no one wants to sit through two hours of me slowly dotting. So, all right, now I've just slightly, ever so slightly lightened the color, the red color by just putting like a drop or two of orange and then mixing it in. And that's how I've got the second row and just kind of line them up. Just dot all the way down, starting in the center. And then this, again, the same thing, lighten it just ever so slightly with a little bit more orange. Gives it a nice fade here. And then we will even lighten it more. And I always just add a little bit, a little bit more, and I just mix it up with my nail stylus because they just wipe clean very easily and no fuss and you want to get it good and mixed in. So take your time mixing your paints and really enjoy the whole process here. This isn't, you know, it's not about the final product as much as it is just, you know, sitting and relaxing and taking some time for yourself and just getting into it. Now this is my, um, one of my smallest dotting tools from my kit. This is the white tool. And I just kind of filled in the spaces that were left around the orange ring there. I didn't overcrowd it. I didn't go crazy with it. I just put like, you know, four dots in between the spaces there. And now I've went with black um, just to make an edge around the, um, the red flower there. And that was with my white dotting tool. And here I've mixed a little bit of black paint, a little bit of white paint, and made myself some gray. And I'm just dotting that outer edge to just kind of fade it out just ever so slightly. And I, you want to stay inside the that drawn on circle guideline there. All right, so I'm going to use my white tool here. And I dip it in some white paint and go ahead and make one dot down in the dip of the petal here of the flower. And then I go ahead and grab my largest nail stylus and kind of just push the paint out to one side and then dip the stylus and push it out to the other side. And then I go ahead and get a smaller uh, nail stylus and go ahead and push the paint out just a little bit further. And it gives you a nice pointy tip. Kind of like little white birds. And it's okay if it's not perfect because no one is going to notice that except for you. <laughs> All right, moving on to my light blue tool. I'm going to go ahead and get some more white paint and put one dot um, right on each of the crosshairs there. And that just gives it some white pop. I am not afraid of white pop at all. I love it. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to um, use the same blue. And I'm going to just make um, several shades of it. So I've lightened it up quite a bit with some white here. And I'm going to put a dot using my light purple tool just right next to each of the white dots. Mix in a little bit more blue paint just to make it a little bit darker. And use the pink tool and go ahead and put a dot next to those lighter blue dots. Again, you can pause this at any time and catch up with me. And now I'm using my nail stylus, which is the largest one, and I call it a size five. And I'm just going to put three dots right on out, just hugging that circle with a little slightly darker blue paint. Now I'm going to go ahead with the straight blue. It's called true blue, and I'm using my pink tool. And I'm going to go ahead and put a ring right around this design here. And you can count how many you can fit in each quarter. Um, and you just want to use the guideline as your guide there. Don't put your dot in between the guideline. Just put it right on the edge of the guideline. That's your true there. And then I've um, lightened up the paint with some of that turquoise paint. So it's a mixture between blue and turquoise for the next row. And then I make this just slightly bigger. And then I'm going back with the original pink tool. And I'm going with the straight turquoise color for the last ring. 
So they're just slightly smaller, but I just thought it broke it up in a, a way that I liked. So now right in between each of the birds on the outer edge there, I'm going to just fill in that little ring with some random dots. So I'm going to have yellow as the main color focus in the middle area. And you'll see what I'm talking about as I go along here. If you're not understanding uh, how I'm saying it here. So I'm going to have yellow in the middle. Next to the yellow, I'm going to put orange. And then next to the orange, I'll have red. And they, you want them random. The more random, the better, if anything. So, And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, if you accidentally dot on top of one, that's no big deal. Just, just dot around. Just kind of go wild with it. All right, and now the orange will be next to, and then blending in slightly to the to the yellow. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the red, and just kind of throw a random one in the middle here and there. But you really want to focus on the edges. And then there you go with the red. And that is with the largest nail stylus. That's the size five. And then just kind of run it in just slightly. And that gives a really nice effect to the edges there. So we're going to fill in those spaces. All right, now I'm going to start on the birds here. So I'm going with straight red using my pink tool. And I'm going to go ahead and just start in the center, put one dot, and then dot all the way to the tip of the wings to either side. And do that to all of them. And then I'm going to start blending um, some orange in again with my red. Now, if you want to pre-mix some of these, you can and have them sitting there. That would be fine. You could cover up your palette with a, a damp paper towel to keep your paints nice and wet. And just ever so slightly lighten it up with some orange for the next layer. Still staying with the pink tool. I do have all the tool sizes listed. If you do not have a set of my tools and you want to follow along, I have all the tool sizes listed in my Etsy shop where I sell my tools. They're listed and you can see which color and which size they all are. All right, and then again, adding just a little bit of orange, mixing it up for the next row. And I don't go you know, too far out of the lines or anything. I try to stay on the inside of the lines. It's just whatever looks, um, looks good to you. So. Make it your own and just kind of squeeze them in however you like to do it. And then again, a little bit lighter for the next row. I was also going to mention I do have almost 60 step-by-step um, -step tutorials, so be sure to check out my other content. I have lots of Dot Me Dollar tutorials to follow along to. And finally, just the straight orange color. And then the, the birds on the corners are spaced just slightly out. Uh, so they leave a little bit larger of a gap than the ones on the side. So for those, I go on and go with the pink tool and I put two little yellow dots there and then for the ones that don't really have so much room um, I still wanted to have a little bit of yellow on there so I went with my small white tool and just kind of um, put two little yellow dots in there and then I'm going to go with straight white paint same pink tool and this will be the first row going uh, in between the birds there um, and it looks like I put about six or seven in there. And then I use um, the very light blue that I made with the straight blue paint and the white paint that I mixed together. So it's a very light baby blue for the next ring. And then I jumped up in size just to kind of break it up a little bit. Um, and I'm going with a slightly darker blue there. And then I wanted to add 
heads on the birds. So this is the straight blue color, and that was with my large yellow tool. And this is the um, that straight blue color again for the next row in between the birds, and that is with the pink tool. And then I just wanted to make little swipes out right above the red on the wings, so I'm gonna just take my largest nail stylus and swipe out um, from the right next to the head and then all the way out to the tip of the wings. So that's how it's looking there. And now I'm going to um, go ahead and put a yellow ring all the way around the edge. I like to bring out the colors um, at least one more time gives nice balance and um, it just draws the eye out to the edge which I like so and that's uh and that's it that's all I did with this one I didn't do any top dots but that's you know just personal preference so this is it completed now wait for it to be good and dry and then go back in and remove all of your guidelines and if you've got little splatters of paint on the edges I like to touch it up with a bit of more black paint Okay, so here it is for you one more time. All right, so that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions for me for future tutorials, don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you would like to see. And if you're new to my channel, of course, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. I have to give a huge shout out to Chris Puno. She sent me these beautiful Christmas ornaments. Thank you so much, Chris. They are absolutely beautiful. They're the only ones I got. So thank you so much. I will cherish them forever. Thank you, Sherry Kepler, also, for sending me a sweet, sweet package full of all kinds of goodies. Thank you, ladies. You are so sweet. I love you all so much. Have a great New Year's Eve. Be safe and have fun, and I'll see you next year. <laughs>